guys, Shane Storms with DroidMotorX.com. Today I'm going to show you guys how to install the HyperDrive ROM. This has to be one of the most popular ROMs for the Verizon Galaxy S4. It has over a million views on XDA. Uh, I had to I had to see what the hype was for myself. I've been running Eclipse now for probably the past two or three weeks on my Galaxy S4. I've really loved it, uh, but I had to give HyperDrive a try, and boy, am I happy that I did. So I'm going to show you guys how to install it. This is not like a normal install. This includes the Aroma installer. So the great thing about the Aroma installer is you can kind of choose the functionality of your ROM as you install. So there's several different ways uh, that your ROM could end up based on how you install it in the Aroma installer. I'm going to show you guys all the functionality and all the features in that Aroma installer. And then, of course, later on this week, I'll have a full ROM review of HyperDrive. So the first thing we want to do is be sure that you are rooted. Uh, you can flash this from SafeStrap on the latest over-the-air update ME7, or you can do like I'm doing and flash via TeamWin Recovery Project if you have the Loki bootloader hack. So we'll go ahead and reboot into recovery. However you do that, if you were in, uh, if you have TeamWin Recovery Project, you can just boot into recovery mode like normal. If you're on SafeStrap, uh, you'll need to reboot your phone and then go into the recovery option by hitting the menu button. So obviously if you're on SafeStrap, uh, how you would install this is you would go into boot options, you would choose a custom ROM slot, and then you would install this ROM to that custom ROM slot. Pretty simple stuff. If you're in Team Win Recovery Project, uh, you're going to wipe, swipe to wipe, and then install. You'll go down to your download folder and choose the hyperdrive. So we don't have to flash any G apps. Those are included in the Aroma installer. We're just going to flash this file. It should pop up the Aroma installer and then we can make all of our choices and selections from there. Okay, so the first screen we'll just select next. And this is the terms and conditions. You'll need to agree to those and then select next. Okay, this is just warning you that you must wipe data cache and download cache before flashing the ROM. We'll select next. Uh, here we can choose what kind of ROM, uh, what kind of installation we want to do. We're going to go with a full ROM install. You can choose to wipe your data here if you haven't already wiped data. Of course, we wipe data before we even install the ROM, so you can just go ahead and wipe cache and download cache. And then we're going to install the Verizon variant. And I'm going to go with the uh, HyperDrive TouchWiz 4x5 launcher. You can choose... Uh, which of, whichever of those you like. This is the Samsung apps and add-ons. Uh, this would be all of your TouchWiz applications. Uh, so you'll choose the ones that you like. We'll just go with the regular installation here. So one thing that I do like about HyperDrive is that it does give you the option to run as many TouchWiz applications as you want. So with some ROMs, they just totally eliminate TouchWiz altogether and they force you to not use the TouchWiz uh, but this actually allows you to use it if you want to use it. So that's one thing I really like about HyperDrive. Uh, just for space sake on my 16 gigabyte Galaxy S4, I'm going to uncheck these after all because I really don't use them. But if you use them and you like them, then go ahead and install them. Okay, and then for your weather widget, I'm going to go with none. And I'll go with the AOSP email. Boot animations, I'll go with the one that's selected there. Force GPI, GPU UI rendering, I'll go with no. Audio mod, go ahead and install the Viper 4 audio, why not? We'll unselect ad blocking. We'll select no ascending ringtone. Since 4 plus recent apps, just because I like those. Full extended power menu. And I'll go with the volume hack slight. Here I'll unselect ES File Manager and go with the CM File Manager and we'll unselect the My Files. Then you can install as many Google apps as you want and you can also choose uh, which ones you don't want to install. So we'll go with the regular YouTube and Google Maps, Google Plus, and Gmail. And then I'll go ahead and install my AOSP applications just because I prefer them over TouchWiz. Uh, but that's the beauty of HyperDrive is you can kind of make it as much like TouchWiz as you want. You can make it as much like AOSP. You can kind of mesh the two together. 
And I will go with the uh, AOSP sounds. And we'll go with the Apollo Music application. And the Android 4.2 keyboard. We'll go ahead and install Adobe Flash. And Terminal Emulator. And we'll go with the stock optimized kernel. But there are a few others that you can choose from there. Okay, it says the wizard is ready to begin installation. Press next to begin the installation. We'll go ahead and select next, and it's going to go ahead and install our ROM. We'll give this about five minutes to install, and then we will reboot into hyperdrive. Okay, so when it's finished, you'll get this screen. It tells you that first boot will take longer. I remember to wait five to ten minutes before setting the ROM up. So we'll go ahead and select next, and select reboot. So this is going to reboot our system, and you are now running the HyperDrive ROM on the Galaxy S4. Like I mentioned earlier, you can install this through SafeStrap under a custom ROM slot, and it should work exactly the same. It will bring up the Aroma installer, and you can complete installation in the same manner that I just completed it there. If you like this video, be sure to give it a big thumbs up. Subscribe for more content like this in the near future. Also, be sure to stay tuned to this channel for the full HyperDrive ROM. Uh, review that's coming uh, within the next week or so. You can find more of me at droidmoderx.com. I'll have the latest in Android and tech news. Be sure to follow me on Twitter at droidmoderx. Thanks for watching. Be blessed. I'll see you in the next one.